Those dastardly pirates have taken over the peaceful Lurilin village, and it's up to me to take it back. There is absolutely no way that I'm gonna let those pirates have Lurilin forever. I mean, come on, it's the most beautiful village in all of Hyrule. And plus, that's where my vacation home is. I, I can't lose that. I mean, that would... That cost me a lot of money. <laughs> so you best believe that I will do all that I can to make those pirates pay. All right, so right now I am at Lakeside Stable and all we need to do is follow this road and then we will be able to get to Lurlin Village over there. So I'm gonna take out my horse, Buddy. I actually just got the Traveler's saddle and bridle for him, so that's cool. And then we're gonna equip ourselves some weapons and we're gonna head off to Lurlin Village right away because I cannot waste any time. Look, there's a blockade. There's a fence block, and what does that say? Pirates have invaded Lurilin Village just ahead. Those not confident in their pirate fighting abilities should not approach. Well, I'd say I'm pretty confident in my pirate fighting abilities, wouldn't you, Link? I don't know. I just got here. Oh, whoa, watch out. There's another one. What does this one say? Lurilin Village is closed due to a pirate invasion. For your own safety, stay away. Roselle, the village head. Man, it's supposed to be a pretty big deal. There's a camp over there. I guess maybe we should go over there. Is that Bolson? What the heck? Well, hey, at least he's away from my house now and not just bumming out over there. So I guess it's better that he's here. Dude, wait, look, there's a pirate ship over there. Holy crap. It says they've destroyed the village. It's ruined. No way we're getting close with all those monsters around. Hmm? Why do I get the feeling we're being watched? <laughs> Hey, Bolson. Ah, were you planning to visit Lurlin Village? You might want to make other plans if you value your life. Not to ruin your travel plans, but as head of the village, it's my duty to protect locals and visitors alike. You see over there? Monsters have taken over the village. I don't know if they're after food supplies or what have you, but the minute they arrived, they started acting like they owned the place. By some bit of luck, everyone from the village managed to escape in one piece, but with their homes destroyed and nowhere to live, well... The villagers have scattered to the four winds. If only those monsters weren't there. Master builder that I am, I'd have those buildings fixed up in a jiffy. There's certainly been an increase in monsters lately. I wonder if it's because of the upheaval. And they seem more aggressive too. I never thought they'd be bold enough to launch an attack from the sea. They're behaving just like pirates. As long as even a single one of them remains, it's too dangerous for anyone to go near the village. Ah, ruffian infested village. Well, you know what? I was expecting some actual really hard pirates, not just some silly little monsters. Oh, I'm sure I could say, oh, that's a... Oh wow, there's a big bacoblin over the boss bacoblin. <laughs> Alright, I'm sure I can take care of this though. So as long as any monsters remain in Lurlin Village, they can't return. Luckily, your boy is here. <laughs> I want to see if I can actually like, I think I actually have a, yeah, we have a eightfold blade right here. And it says it yields more powerful sneak strikes than ordinary blades. So I kind of want to see if I can do some stealthy action right now. Because I do have this stealth armor set here. And I mean, I do quite enjoy myself a stealth game, you know what I mean? So what we can do is we can get ourselves. I, I believe, I hope I have a keys eyeball. Yeah, oh, well, we have the Aracuda one. That'll work too. So let's do that easy peasy and now that we have the eightfold blade here something really really awesome about this game is that like stealth isn't really a main feature like it's kind of like a side thing like there isn't really like a stealth system but something cool that they added in tears of the kingdom is the addition of these puff shrooms so what I can do here is these push rooms are kind of like a smoke bomb. Think like Assassin's Creed if any of y'all are into that. You throw a smoke bomb, you can go in and assassinate the enemies, right? So what I can do is I can shoot a puff shroom into these enemies. And boom! Now they can't see! So I grab my eightfold blade that does more damage for sneak strikes and assassinate them all. Isn't that freaking cool, man? <laughs> I don't even have to deal with them head on, dude. I'm an assassin. Yeah! Oh, this guy. This guy made it. That's fine. We'll just take him out, you know? He needed a little double tap. See how easy that was, man? That was so fun. I was just walking over here. There's a person in there. What the? Oh, crap. We got to save that person. Oh, it's blockaded. Look. Oh, examine. I wish I could call for help, but then they'd find me. Maybe I'll just whisper it as loud as I can. Help. 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 <laughs> I can't hear you. Look, man, I'll, I'll save you. I'm not going to risk your life and get you out of there. I got you, dude. We're gonna stealth through this place. I wonder if I can stealth through this entire village. I don't know. Would that be interesting to you guys to see some stealth? I mean, we can do we can do like a good mix of the two. You know what I mean? We'll do a good mix. We'll do a good mix of combat and stealth. So maybe what I can do is like, oh, that guy sees me. Boom. Oh, never mind. I've been spotted. <laughs> All right, well, let's take out another blade. I have a, a feathered edge right here. And this one's pretty cool, too. So like I said, I love all the new, like, abilities that some of the, like, OG weapons get. Like, look at that. It has, like, a wind gust. <laughs> so I can do that, turn them into ice, and then get, like, a more powerful weapon, maybe. Like, a, a two-handed. And then, boom. 
Uh, oh, I missed. Oh, well, it's still... <laughs> the shockwave sent him in the air. Nice, dude. You stupid pirates won't take Lurlin. All right. You know, there's really so much things that you can do with the fuse ability that I haven't even really gotten into. I've mostly been doing just like normal combat, but there's so many like combinations for like shields and weapons and arrows and stuff that you can do. And like, I really need to start experimenting with it. Here's something that I saw today. If I get myself a normal shield, if I get myself a shield that isn't fused to anything and I drop a dazzle fruit, shield surf, boom. Ooh, wow, I almost died. And then charge up an attack. Get some good hits on that guy while he's blinded. I mean, that wasn't very, uh, that wasn't very a good demonstration, but <laughs> hey, it, it worked out. I guess another thing that I can try doing is dropping a bomb flower, fusing it, and then shield jump. Boom! <laughs> and then I can get a free bullet time. Charge it. Almost. Nice, dude. It looks like there might be something going on in this well. These wells are always open now. Like, there's so many caves and stuff. Yep, there's one guy. In How did he not see me? Are you dumb? Well, I guess we'll uh, use our sneak strike. Since this guy somehow did not see me. Stupid. <laughs> Uh-oh, he saw me. Who are you calling, man? No one can... Oh, there is a couple of guys here. Uh-oh. Ooh, there we go. We got a flurry rush. Should that be able to kill him with that crit from the the ice? Almost. There we go. Did those enemies over there see me? Oh, no, but they're they're curious. <laughs> Oof! Dang, I need to pay more attention. <laughs> I guess while we're here, if we're trying to do stealth, I can do a stealth up food item. Get that guy out of our way real quick. <laughs> there we go. Almost. Boom. This guy's still frozen over here. Let's spin to win, baby. Nice. <laughs> Let's do it again. Puff shroom. Yes. Go, 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 go. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing stealth. Come on, come on. Yes. Dang. No, that, how did that guy not see me? Is he dumb? Wait, I wonder if this glitch still works since Breath of the Wild. Wait, is he going to turn around? Ah, oh, no, they don't do it anymore. Interesting. Okay. Wait, I just parried him throwing. Why did he throw his weapon at me? <laughs> All right, I'm looking around here and I don't see any more enemies in the village. So I think now we have to get to the ship. Yeah, look, there's some enemies over there and the boss Bacoblin. That's going to be a tough challenge. All right, we're climbing up the ship, man. This is so cool. This reminds me so much of like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, like doing stealth, climbing up the ship, you know, it's so awesome, man. All right, let's see if we can stealthy get this guy before these guys notice. Boom. Whoa. Oh, I don't have my... Oh, no. I didn't get my thing. I wasn't using my weapon. Uh-oh. They're going to see that, are they? Okay. Abandoned ship. Just kill him. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. Let's actually get ourselves an Aracuda eyeball because this guy... Oh, wait. That guy doesn't have a bow. That guy has a... One of those, like, bouncy swords or whatever. <laughs> How do these guys not see me, by the way? Maybe I can still, uh salvage my stealth use puff shroom right there wait i'm gonna sneak strike the boss bacoblin i've never done that before oh you can't oh no you can whoa that did a lot of damage okay let's go get someone else yes go 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 Four time runs out yeah baby sneak strike for the win <laughs> all right now it's just this bacoblin and the boss bacoblin which we've already taken out like half its health so shoot man we're gonna Save Lurlin for sure. But let's be careful because we could die pretty easily from this guy, you know? I still don't really understand these guys' movesets. I've only fought a couple of them. So I'm not, like, super good at, like, dodging their attacks and stuff. I think he's going to run at me now. Oof! Well, luckily, the game mechanic let us live. But, uh, I guess it can't get... I guess you can't really get one shot in this game, can you? I want to see if I can get a flurry rush because this these Royal Guard weapons have improved flurry rush. I would like to see if I can get one. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. Ah, no, I'm just too scared. I'm too scared, man. There we go. Improve, improve flurry rush. Let's do it, man. Yes, one hit, man. Let's go, dude. We got the boss bacoblin. Now all we need to get is this Lizolfos. This Lizolfos. What did I just say there? Let's try not to get hit by this bouncy shroom because, uh, or this bouncy spear, whatever it's called. I don't even know what that is. Dude. Oh, it's a claymore. Because if we get hit by it, it'll literally, like, send us flying. Oof. Luckily, it doesn't work if we get hit with the shield. Oh, but our, oh no, my shield is almost damaged, man. I don't even know why I'm using this shield, but okay. That was the last enemy. Let's go. We, did we save Lurlin? Huh? I can't hear the monsters anymore. What? The monsters are gone? R Rose, everyone. 
It's safe to come back now. All right. It can't be. Those horrible monsters are... They're all gone. Every last one of them. I... I saw everything from the house where I was hiding. <laughs> this lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere and took out every monster in the village all by himself. Whoa, I knew it! Sure, you look like a strong breeze could blow you over, but you are solid as stone. Knew it the moment I saw you. We could do nothing but watch while monsters overran our village. If you hadn't shown up, our home might have been damaged beyond repair. We owe you a great debt. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it was nothing, come on. I mean, I play Assassin's Creed, you know, I got the stealth down, I got the combat down. <laughs> now listen, everyone. Lurland Village has been given a chance at a fresh start. If we all do our part, I know we can bring this baby back from the brink. So get ready, because old Bolson here is going to keep you busy until this village is rebuilt. All right, ruffian infested village complete. That was awesome, man. That was so fun. I love doing the stealth, too. <laughs> but all right, guys, that was really fun. I really love, like, all the new, like, side adventures and stuff. Like, guys, honestly, there is just so much content in this game like it's actually insane compared to breath of the wild the amount of content in this game is ridiculous but it's so awesome like i've got to be like 30 something hours into this game already and i've only just yesterday as the day that i'm recording this i just completed the first like main quest for rito village like other than that i've just been like exploring and doing a whole bunch of side content and stuff and it's just been so freaking awesome man but yeah guys let me know in the comments below if you have any recommendations for any side quests slash adventures or any just like exploration things or like challenges you guys might have for me to do because i would definitely be willing to try out some suggestions yeah i'm gonna end the video here if you guys like the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one peace